did your father ever um, address this issue of racism? But you were very young when he was arrested, yeah. so this was not something. But he, this was not something that he ever sort of talked about. That no, 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 he did not. Because you were living in Eritrea yeah, at the yeah. time, so that was uh, not. No, that was not a thing that he talked about. But he always talked about the good stuff. I think he wanted to see... I don't think he wanted to see the racism of Sweden that I know he meant. But I think he always chose to go, oh, it's good, and I've been in several European countries, and I've always been, you know, welcomed and felt welcome. So. I think he rather wanted to see that side. But he struck me always as a person who really emphasized the positive. You know, he wanted to bring about change by acting in a positive yeah, way. And, and yeah, he, I think so. I think, I don't think maybe he would... I think he would, because now we're talking about identity politics. And somehow, because he's that kind of... He, he's a core liberal in that way so I think I don't know what he would think about that but I think he would maybe think that now people are trying to divide people we should be together we should come together and have discussions instead about instead of talking about us and them and maybe that's <laughs> but he was uh, you know he was he had sort of a gentle voice uh, from what I can tell from his articles, mm -hmm. but there was a definitely a very strong inner core. Mm -hmm. You know, he seemed to me that he knew who he was and what he wanted. Yeah. And I think that comes through. So do you feel very much your father's daughter in that way? Yeah, of course. I'm really secure of who I am in that sense. Yeah. And that's thanks to my I think, you know, I always have your foot here. So when you say you're not angry, you're not angry also with um, this, uh, with the situation in Sweden that you, where we, where some people feel that something more could have been done, that the case of your father could have been pursued with greater energy. Do you feel that there's what are the reasons behind the fact that this was not the case? Do you feel that there is an element of racism? That if your father had been um, native-born Swede, mm -hmm. that the situation might have been different? Yeah, but, he, but he's Eritrean. And also he's a black man. So he is not one of... No, Sweden's really. own. No, not really. No, I'm not either. And actually, I don't want to be because I'm in the core. I'm Eritrean, and I'm really proud. And and I just happen to be an Eritrean living in Sweden. And actually, I see this country as my second homeland. But a part of me says that I also have a homeland somewhere else. So also there no anger you just you are a realist. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a yeah I'm a realist uh, because I I don't try to be. Um, I know maybe a lot of people say oh I'm Swedish but they have um, different ethnicity or maybe from Iran or whatever, and I can understand why you can have that outlook and. Maybe people see you as Swedish or you see yourself as Swedish, but I don't because I have a, I know my history, I know who I am, and I can appreciate this, but I also appreciate where I come from, so I'm not ashamed. <laughs> but, you, so, but you feel like you, even though you grew up in this country, mm -hmm. uh, large part, um, you feel not Swedish. You feel main, you, first and foremost, you feel Eritrean. Yeah. Your identity is yeah. Eritrean. Yeah. I've, and I've always felt that. Uh, I've always felt I'm Eritrean. Mm. Because to, I, it was not my choice to be here. And I don't have a choice. 
to stay all the you know I'm, I am here now and then of course I feel I feel in that sense I can feel European so when you look at the situation you feel that you can appreciate the positive of this country of course. and you can also rationalize the the negative yeah but you course. feel that you can just uh, you can take it without too much emotion you're not mm. you're not compelled to go out and protest no why <laughs> No, and then I, but at the same time, I don't know why people are like that. Why they need to be racist or why they have this inner feeling that they hate people from other countries because there there are no need. Uh, but uh, I think it would be greater if people actually realize that oh, I'm from here and you're from here. What can we do together and to like meet between cultures, traditions, religions, and ethnicities, that would be much better. Is that what you're going to talk about in your book? A little bit? Yeah, this, yeah, of course, I will do that mm -hmm. to some extent. What is it you want people to know about your father? What, what you think that they don't know or that they have not understood? I think people have this kind of that he was very energetic, that he was doing this, doing that, but he was actually very quiet, very calm. Like to, he ate a lot of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, he liked um, pork, you know, that's not very common in Eritrea to maybe eat pork, but their family did that <laughs> so that's very interesting that he was a human just like me and you yeah and that this may be that after all this time people do not really know your father no he has just maybe some symbol some sort of symbol yeah. yes. he was also a, fa a father and someone's husband brother mm -hmm. someone who liked to play soccer football 